Good evening. Graduates, you may turn around and be seated. For any of you who don't know me, uh, my name is Kevin Brown, and I'm the superintendent here of the Davidson Community Schools. Thank you very much. And it is my honor uh, to welcome you here tonight uh, to the Davison Alternative Education High School graduation commencement ceremony for 2023. Yeah. We are all extremely proud of these fine young men and women and their accomplishments, uh, the things that got them here tonight. This is, as far as I can tell, the largest group of graduates we've ever had, at least in the 29 years that I've been here in Davison. If I'm not mistaken, and Mr. Fishhaber, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe we have 51 graduates here this evening. We have nine additional graduates who were unable to attend, and 17, if I'm not mistaken, students that actually graduated earlier this year. They graduated early. That's 77 <laughs> graduates from Davidson Alternative Education. I think that's a testament to uh, the faculty and the staff. Uh, it's a testament to the, the parents and others who have supported these students throughout the years. But most of all, it's a testament to you, the students from Davison Alternative Education High School. Before I turn the ceremony over to Mr. Fishhaber, I just want to say a few words to our soon-to-be graduates. I simply want to say congratulations. You've accomplished a lot. You've overcome a lot of challenges to get to where you are. I'm sure that quite a few of you may have wondered if you would ever even graduate. But here you are. You've made it. You're successful. And that deserves a round of applause. But make no mistake, you're going to continue to face challenges throughout your adult life. Knowing the trials and tribulations that you've experienced over the past four or five years, um, I'm sure that all of you are very well prepared to face those challenges head on, and I have no doubt you'll overcome those challenges. But there are a couple things I'd like you to keep in mind. Number one, Make sure that you continue to believe in yourselves. Trust yourself, believe in yourself. Don't listen to the naysayers. Don't buy into the negativity that's often out there that tries to consume us. Stay true to yourself, set goals, work hard to achieve those goals, and continue to always believe in yourself. If you don't think you can, you won't. But if you believe you can, you will. So never lose sight of that. In closing, I'd also like to recognize the people that are here tonight. Everyone in this auditorium is here for one and only one reason. They believe in all of you. Your parents, grandparents, other family members, friends, teachers, administrators, staff members, they're all here for one and only one reason, and that's to see you graduate. And I think we all know none of you did this all on your own. We all have help. And so I would like to ask all of our graduates to simply join me in thanking and congratulating 
those people that are here to support you tonight. Thank you. And with that, I'm going to turn it over to Principal Fishhaber. Good evening. For those of you that don't know me, um, my name is TJ Fishhaber. I am the principal at DAE. Um, I have fallen in love with these kids in red down here in the short time that I've been over here. But I want to welcome everybody to the 31st annual commencement exercise of the Davison Alternative High School. This has always been my favorite time of year simply because it's centered on the celebration of the successes of students that we've helped through trials and tribulations. I would like to recognize all the family members that are in attendance tonight, like Mr. Brown said, and say thank you. I also want to say thank you to a fabulous second to none DAE staff, Mrs. Connie Trombley, and uh, definitely Mrs. Robin Ostrander for making all of this possible. Their work behind the scenes is unbelievable. But I, also, but I also want to thank our esteemed board members that are here tonight. Treasurer Holly Halibicki, uh, Board of Education Secretary Mrs. Alicia Hensley, and Board Trustee Mr. Matthew Smith. And of course, one last time, Superintendent Kevin Brown. Now I would be remiss if I didn't take this opportunity to thank all of the graduates for allowing me to be a part of your lives and a part of this journey and make these lasting friendships that we've made over the last couple of months together. If after tonight you should see me on the street, in the store, on a bus, please come up and give me a handshake, a fist bump, a high five, because that's what I'm gonna miss the most is standing out in front of DAE in the morning seeing all of your, well, most of your smiling faces. <laughs> Some of you don't smile before 10 a.m., I've learned that. But you're here, and you've made it this far, and I'm gonna miss seeing that every morning. So please, if you see me, come up. Let's keep that going, okay, because I'm gonna miss that. My involvement here, although brief, has been life-changing for me. Hopefully it's been at least mildly rewarding for all of you as well. As principal of the Davison Alternative Education Building, I've seen families and students struggle to overcome what were seemingly insurmountable odds to get you here. I'm so very proud to be a member of the staff at DAE. When you think about it, the word alternative is kind of a weird and interesting word. Merriam-Webster describes it as the ability of another possibility, the availability of another possibility. So that got me thinking, what are the possibilities that lie in store for all of you? Well, I think after tonight, there's a world of possibilities that are going to open up for you. Coach Jim Valvano, who is no longer with us, but he was the coach of the uh, North Carolina State Wolfpack men's basketball team. He said that he once heard Reverend Bob Richards tell a group of young campers, not too unlike yourselves, that God must have loved ordinary people because he made so many of us. Now to me, when I first heard that, that kind of rubbed me the wrong way because I don't know about you, but my mama told me I was special. <laughs> Every day. Mama said, I'm special. And then I get this old man up there telling me, God must have loved ordinary people because he made so many of us, lumping me in with ordinary people. Well, he redeemed himself when he said, every single day in all walks of life from every corner of the world, ordinary people achieve extraordinary things. Did you hear me? Every single day, ordinary people achieve extraordinary things from every walk of life. 
So I thought, I'm signing up for that. I'm an ordinary person, I just found out. I want to be able to achieve extraordinary things. How do I do that? So I started looking, I started investigating the lives of people that had the things that I wanted, that lived the way that I wanted to live. And what I started to find out were some similar nuggets that they all had in common. The first person I studied, if you're not a football fan, maybe this will be the first time you're hearing of him, but Vince Lombardi, he was the NFL uh, coach of the Green Bay Packers, legendary. He had a simple saying. He said, you plus motivation equals success. You plus motivation equals success. Get excited about whatever your dream is. There is no dream that's too big for you. Get excited about it, get motivated, and the sky's the limit for you, I promise. So as we leave here tonight, I'm gonna leave you with this. Please, get motivated, get excited about whatever it is you're going on to do. See where it takes you, I bet that you'll achieve greatness. And then when you see me, give me that gigantic high five, tell me, hey Fish, you were right. And I'll say, yep, can I borrow some money? <laughs> but in all seriousness, this group is a tremendous group. They've achieved a ton of uh, wonderful things. I'm just gonna read down some highlights from this group. So Davison Alternative, well, Mr. Mr. Brown already hit on the, on the numbers for our graduates. 17 uh, seniors graduating early. Four seniors tonight are graduating with the honor cords. They're the gold cords you see around their necks. Three community organizations are awarding four scholarships to seniors this evening. At the fourth annual Davison uh, dis excuse me, at the fourth annual Decision Day celebration, 11 seniors committed to attending a community college, four seniors committed to attending a four-year university, and four seniors are entering the military, nine seniors will be entering the skilled trades, and many other seniors have already begun the next chapter of their lives by entering the workforce. Six seniors served on the Principal's Advisory Committee, Many of these uh, seniors will go on to attend college campus tours um, at schools like Oakland Community College, Mott Community College, Saginaw Valley, and the University of Michigan Flint. Nine other seniors attended the uh, Manufacturing and Construction Career Day. And I think that we can all agree that this very unique group of seniors are bubbling over with talent and with potential. Having said that, it's a long-standing tradition of the Davison Alternative to have representatives of the senior class speak at graduation. This evening we have two outstanding students carrying on this tradition. And our first speaker transferred from the high school to the Davison Alternative this year in order to fulfill her goal of graduating in four years with a, high, with a high school diploma and ultimately she will go on to serve her country in the United States Air Force. It is my pleasure to introduce Brooklyn Ahmed. today to deliver this speech on behalf of the incredible student body. It is my pleasure to also welcome students, families, faculty to graduation day at DAE. I joined DAE at the beginning of this year. It felt like freshman year all over again. <laughs> new teachers, staff, and new people I've never met before. I know most of us came to DAE at different times in our lives. And for me, it was my senior year. I came here worried I wasn't going to graduate on time, scared of what people might think, 
But that has all changed. Freshman year, we assumed high school was just like the movies, but boy were we wrong. We got three weeks off, bonus, and then we stayed online, and then we didn't go back. Sophomore year was even crazier. We were online for some classes and in person for others. Junior year, we were almost back to normal, but I still wasn't sure what high school was. Coming to DAE changed that idea, but I still wasn't sure, or, sorry. I had never felt so loved and cared for by my teachers. If you missed a day of school, Ms. Trombley was calling home worried you were never going to return to school, but you just slept in late. <laughs> the high school was different. At DAE, I was told we were a family. I have never been called a family at school. I remember thinking how odd it was to be called that, to be so open with teachers, and for teachers to be even more welcoming with open arms. It was like a breath of fresh air. I could be me, whoever that was, that's who I could be. It felt like a family. Meeting new people, seeing old faces from elementary school, I realized it wasn't as scary as I had put it out to be. DAE will forever hold a special place in my heart for it being what got me to go to school, work harder, understand, and be the person I am today. I never would have thought a year at DAE would change me into the would change me into such a different person, but it did. And I'm so beyond grateful for these amazing teachers and staff members that allowed me to be me. I look towards our futures and see such diverse things from all of us here. I see success and amazing things moving forward. Even though I've only been here for a year, I'll never forget the memories, good and bad, DAE was a bigger part of my life than the high school was, and I was there for three years. Thank you to my peers and staff for making my experience here such an amazing one. On one last thought, to the class of 2023, congratulations. Enjoy what you do. Take pleasure and satisfaction in your achievements here at DAE and your ongoing goals. Whatever your next steps may be, I wish all of you the best of luck and great success. Thank you. Thank you, Brooklyn. Our next student to speak is a pretty soft-spoken young woman. She's very strong in her faith. She's driven to help others. She served on the Principal's Advisory Committee. She was Student of the Month and a member of the Yearbook Club. Please welcome to the stage, Isabella LaCrosse. Thank you guys. <laughs> Good evening everyone. And it's an honor for me to welcome the families and graduate and students of DAE. Tonight is a special night. It's a night of celebration of class of 2023. These st students have worked hard for the past 13 years. Some were long and others were sh short, sweet, and just fine. <laughs> Before I continue, I'd like to thank a teacher, one specific special teacher to me. I went in every morning, said hi to her, and I missed her when I was gone. I'd like to thank Ms. Colvin. She helped me with my speaking. She helped me with my speaking fear, because right now I probably wouldn't be up here if it was as bad as it was in the beginning of the year. I'd also like to thank all the other teachers and staff for welcoming, welcoming me into the DAE family. When I first joined, I felt scared. I didn't think I'd fit in, but it, I was wrong. I fit in so well. And thank you for the other teachers and staff for choosing to come in every day to just welcome me in and to work hard and help all these other students that are graduating right now. Graduating is one of the most important parts of life because it's, ending, it's an ending and a start to life. It's new chapters, we get to say goodbye to school life and hello to adult life. So graduating students, say goodbye to the fun and hard but easy sometimes. 
high school life, and hello to adult life. A life of working, paying bills, and just flat out adult choices so we can survive for the rest of our life in a house. The further in our adult adventure we get, the more we're gonna wish we were back here in school. Some of us may even wish that we can go back to our exciting kindergarten days, the days where we learned to read bigger words. We were so excited that we felt like no word was too big for us to read. Or even the days where we were excited for learning simple math so we can sit there and count our allowance to save money for our favorite toys. Or even see if our parents were giving us the right amount of money they said they were. <laughs> It might sound crazy, but we're also gonna miss our high school days when we made our true friends and when we discovered ourselves. But now we have different goals, goals to survive on our own. Lean on your family when you need to, but still try and grow on your own. A special person once told me that life is growth. It's going to have its ups and downs. Life will get hard, but in those moments, don't give up because the lights will always be shining. You just have to work hard and look up. Know that it is okay to have hard times. Not everything is gonna work out the way you want it to, but it will work out. So I'd like to say a final congratulations to class of 2023. I am so proud of all of you guys. You guys are, have become my family, even though I might not know some of you guys. And have a great rest of you guys' night. Thank you, Isabella. Another long-standing tradition that we have here at DAE is for the students to select a staff member to speak to the senior class. This year's speaker is a teacher who has taught at DAE for five years. She recognizes that each student has a unique learning style and works with them to achieve success. She's very approachable and often provides under an understanding ear to students. It's my honor to introduce Ms. Amanda Mobley. You ready for this? Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. All right. Good evening, graduates, staff, administrators, board members, family, and friends. Tonight, we are celebrating the accomplishments of the graduating class of 2023 from Davison Alternative Education. I am humbled and honored to be able to address all of you today. Although many of you students know that I was extremely nervous um, to address you, I too don't like public speaking. And one would think that because I'm a teacher, um, that it would be easy but I'm not talking about biology or social studies. I don't get to nerd this out in front of you, right? So, but addressing you today, I'm here standing in front of you, hoping that I can say a few words that you all may remember as you move on to the next chapters in your life and be inspired to continue to accomplish all that you want. And that really is the point. While I may be uncomfortable hoping I don't trip walking up and down the stage or stumble in my words to you today, I'm pushing forward and doing my best to give you an address worthy of all that you have accomplished. Myself, along with the rest of the staff, have hopefully made you feel comfortable in pushing forward and motivating you to accomplish your goals. Because of our small size, Davison Alternative culminates a family atmosphere and we support each other through achievements and challenges. We have this unique opportunity to create an atmosphere where everyone matters. This allows all of us, students and staff, to develop the positive relationships and this is evidenced by you sitting here and experiencing this milestone today. As we move through life, we are and always will be faced with challenges. How you deal with these challenges and what choices you make helps determine your success. Each and every one of you began your journey at the alternative at different times and because of different circumstances. Do you remember the day that you started at the alternative? Some of you started at the beginning of a school year. Some of you came to us in the middle of a school year. Take yourself back to that day and think about how you felt. I'm sure a range of emotions can come over you thinking you were feeling angry, weak, upset, 
maybe even relieved that you were here with us, indifferent, nervous, fear, the list can go on and on. Consider how you felt that first day you attended the alternative with us and how you feel right now. How do you feel today, getting ready to walk across this stage? My hope is that now you feel a sense of happiness, pride, and confidence that you did not feel before. Your journey through the alternative allowed you to make choices. Some of you revisited classes a couple times with us because of your choices. But ultimately, you didn't give up and you are now sitting here today ready to receive your diploma. As you grow and learn, you will be faced with so many choices in life. Whether you make good or bad choices, the idea is that you learn from every choice that you make. We will make mistakes in life, and if we didn't have failure, we would not have success. Amelia Earhart, if you don't know her, you know the first woman to fly across the Atlantic? You know her, yeah. She once said, the most, difficult the most difficult thing is the decision to act. The rest is merely tenacity. The fears are paper tigers. You can do anything that you decide to do. You can act to change and control your life, and the procedure and the process are its own reward. Think about your procedure and process that you went through to be sitting here today. It may not have been perfect, and a little messy at times, but here you are. It took tenacity. Do you know what tenacity means? No. Oh, come on, guys. <laughs> determination. You made the decision and had the determination to accomplish your goal. Myself, along with the rest of the staff, are so proud of you for your accomplishments. Remember to keep in touch with us. We want, you to, know where, we want to know where your journey in life is going. And we want to know about your challenges and your successes. The positive relationships that we invested so much time in and have built do not end here, you guys. We are around. Cherish all the memories that you have made in this chapter of your life with your friends and staff from the college visits, the construction days, other field trips, one of my favorites, mock interviews, the unique highlights of each of your classes, and the relationships that might have taken some time to build. There are a lot of funny stories I could share about each of you. However, you don't want to be here all night. Um, but I would like to say that I love when you pass along your artwork to us, um, even if it's little drawings. I know that it may not mean much to you, but it means a lot to me. And if you look at my bulletin boards, I have artwork from students from almost 10 years ago. I keep your stuff. It means a lot to me to know that I was a part of your journey. Some other artwork that maybe not be traditional um, is the paper airplanes. <laughs> that are located on a particular ceiling tile in my room that were so craft, craftily aimed. You know who you are. As, lo as long as maintenance leaves them over the summer, they will stay. Each of you have persevered through many challenges and obstacles and still accomplished your goal. I hope tonight that you walk across this stage with a sense of pride and know that so many people that have supported you and stood behind you through this journey, all of your family, all of the staff, we celebrate with you all of your hard work and dedication. Congratulations, class of 2023. Thank you, Mrs. Mobley. Now we'll move on to the presentation of honors. The senior earning the second highest honor in the class of 2023 worked very hard over the course of his high school career. He is one of our early graduates achieving graduation goals at the end of trimester two. Matthew Fuller, will you please come to the stage to receive your award?
Now the graduating senior who earned the highest honor in the class of 2023 presents a tremendous amount of dedication, commitment, and hard work. Our valedictorian has proven herself to be, highly to be a highly motivated young woman. She is one of our early grads and will be attending Central Michigan University in the fall. It's with great pride that we honor our 2023 valedictorian, Abigail Veltkin. everyone and thank you for joining us tonight for this pivotal moment. I'm very grateful for, to be standing here today and speaking on behalf of the Davison Alternative Class of 2023. Where do I even begin to thank people? Well, I can start with everyone here helping their children become successful students and giving them the knowledge they need to become the people they are today. Next, I'd like to thank the staff at DAE who have been very supportive while trying to help all of us gain the information we need before making the transition into adulthood. They have, gone, they have done all they can to ensure we have achieved all the requirements necessary to graduate. Now, we are here to, honor the gradu here to honor the class of 2023. Today is the day we waited 20, 13 years for. I don't know about everyone else, but I can't wait to walk across this stage and earn the long sought after high school diploma. Do you remember when we, we were just learning how to tie our shoes or when we were learning how to read and write? It took us so long to learn how to read and write at the caliber we've reached today. Years ago, we used to take naps during class and run around, re run around for recess on, on the playground. It is undeniable how all of us have grown as individuals throughout these four years of high school. For most of us, we went through the start of a pandemic our freshman year as if freshman year wasn't stressful enough. We've made new friends, started learning more about ourselves, and gained new knowledge. As we reflect on these years, I think many of us will agree that we have made our younger selves proud. We used to go on fun field trips to the zoo. Now we visit college campuses to decide where we, want, where we want to pursue our next chapter. As we look more into the future, what do you see? College, trade school, military, or you might have no idea what you want to do with your life. You have so many options for what you can do. Just take it one step at a time and you will figure it out. You did graduate and that's huge. It might not feel like it, but it is. As someone who felt they wouldn't even make it to their senior year, I'm so proud of all of us. We might look back and regret not going. Okay. We might look back and regret not going to a dance or failing a test, but in 50 years from now, that won't matter. We'll be too busy, busy focusing on new and better things. All those things we, we were doing in school, not waiting for the bathroom or wondering what time class ends, but learning how to be responsible for ourselves and be independent. We all need the skills that we were taught because we can't depend on everyone else to do those things for us. You won't have a teacher helping you organize your backpack in college or have your parents make sure you're getting your homework done. You have to do that on your own. If you forget everything I said today, remember this. Everything comes to an end, so live your life like it will be gone tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you, Abigail. Please join me in welcoming Davison High School's principal, Mr. Jerry Pigger, to the podium to present the Jaden LaCrosse Citizenship Award. Good evening, everyone. Jaden Chase LaCrosse was proud proud to be a member of the DAE family. He would have graduated in 2021, but sadly Jaden passed away in 2020 at the age of 17. 
Jay was passionate about art, music, movies, and his friends. Jaden loved helping, no matter the task, large or small, seen or unseen. <clears throat> this award is to recognize a student who is doing the right thing in small ways and big ways, day in and day out. The student receiving the Jaden Lacrosse Citizenship Award was nominated by the staff of Davison Alternative on behalf of Jaden's family. Please join me in congratulating Isabella Lacrosse. Thank you, Mr. Pigger. Now I'm going to bring up to the podium Counselor Mrs. Noel Cole to announce the next awards for DAE. Thank you, Mr. Fishaber. This evening we have four scholarships to very deserving students. As you can see, we're very proud of our graduates in every way. Please welcome me, and uh, well, help me to welcome Mrs. Halabecki to the podium to award one of the scholarships for tonight. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and congratulations, graduates. It is my honor and privilege to be here this evening to present the Donald Whitman Memorial Scholarship. I am Holly Halabecki and Don was my father. Donald Whitman started his career at Davison Community Schools in 1967. During his tenure with Davison, my, my father had many accomplishments as a teacher and a wrestling coach and an administrator. He's hanging on the wall out there outside of the gym, for those of you <laughs> that didn't know. In looking back on his almost 40-year career in Davison, his greatest accomplishment and legacy was creating Davison Alternative Education High School. DAE opened its doors in the fall of 1990, and I was blessed to be a teacher in the program at that time. When Mr. Brown talked about how many graduates we have this year, 77, it made me think when we started in 1990, we had a total of 60 students in the entire program, and now we have more than that graduating. Dad would be so incredibly proud of all of you. My dad knew that all students needed a champion, someone who would accept them and believe in them. He valued education and believed that all post-secondary training and education was valuable and worthwhile. Dad knew that our community needed people who were skilled in the trades as much as we needed those who held four-year college degrees. My father held students in high regard no matter what. He gave students second chances and taught all of us educators at DAE how to support all students. Dad always had high expectations. He encouraged students to set goals and work hard to accomplish those goals. In his, in his memory, we encouraged students to set a goal, work toward that goal, and then find ways to give back to our community as my dad did in our community. In his honor, we are proud to provide the Donald Whitman Memorial Scholarship to a Davison Alternative Education High School graduate interested in pursuing training or education in the field of education or any skilled trade. This year's recipient is Isabella LaCrosse. <laughs> Isabella is pursuing a career in construction trades Congratulations. Thank you, Mrs. Halibucky, for the wonderful award for our students. Next, I'd like to introduce Mr. Garrett for another scholarship for our students. This year, I'm not going to wing it, put it on my phone. 
Hey, so I'm Jeff. I'm uh, Jeff Garrett with the Davis Knot Fellows. We've been here in Davison, guys and gals like myself, since 1890. And so we are here serving the community. Graduates, take a look around. Seriously, look around. Look around. Look back behind you. OK, look up here, look around, listen. Remember all this stuff. This is the result of good people getting together to do good things. Okay, this is your community. Like yourselves, and like you will do in the future, everyone in here is working to make their few five to ten square miles on this planet better. And you're doing the same. We're glad you're in this community. Lastly, I just want to end with this. So you guys have worked out an alternative route to pursue your goal. I've heard art and culture come up twice so far today. I'm a former art instructor uh, a few times. And, uh, and now I work in the field of arts and culture at the statewide level. And I just want to say that it's, it's telling the story. It's taking a risk. It is communicating an idea or a feeling. It is pursuing your goal. It is finding an alternate route. And that's what you guys have done. Great job, everybody. I have two scholarships for two students from the Davis-Knott Fellows, and if you don't know who we are, we're just a bunch of folks who get together and do a little bit of work. We sling hot dogs and hamburgers at the car show. That's right, most notably, deep fried pickles at the Pumpkin Fest. And uh, right now we're working this car show out on Bristol Road at the Fraternal Order of Eagles on Friday nights if you want to come out and support us. But we take these funds that we make throughout the year in renting out our lodge hall, and we uh, do two things with those funds. First, we pay our property taxes. Man, that's a tough one. And second, we give out scholarships to high school students, uh, most, most notably in Davison. Uh, and so with that, I'd like to uh, thank uh, Jocelyn Traeger and Kennedy Kiefer uh, for their scholarship. Thank you, Mr. Garrett. We appreciate your support along with the Odd Fellows. We have one more award for scholarships. Um, Mott Community College gives out a Trustees Leadership Award. Each school in Genesee County gets one award to give to students. So I'd like to introduce our student who has won this award and will get a full ride to Mott Community College for the next two years. Can I please have Kayla Jeffries up to the podium? Congratulations, students. Thank you, Mrs. Cole. Thank you very much to all the organizations for their generosity and the commitment to the success of our graduates. Congratulations to all of our DAE scholarship recipients. I'm confident that those scholarships will serve you well as you continue on your educational path. Now for that special, much anticipated moment that I know that these graduates have been waiting for. Superintendent Brown, Board of Education members here with us tonight, 
These students before you have met or exceeded the graduation requirements set forth by the Davison Community Schools Board of Education, as well as those of the state of Michigan. Ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to present the 2023 Davison Alternative Education graduates. Graduates, please stand and face the audience. You guys head for Mrs. Trombley. I would also like to thank everyone for their assistance and support with tonight's ceremony. I want to thank Mrs. Halibicki, Mrs. Hensley, and Mr. Smith for contributing their time and support of our graduates. Superintendent Brown, Assistant Superintendent Loben, thank you for being here this evening. A special thanks to the administrators here this evening. I know this is a very, very busy time in all of our lives, especially this time of year. I want to, but your time here is much appreciated. I want to thank Davison High School's String Orchestra, led by Mr. James C. Schuster. Yet another outstanding contribution to these proceedings. I want to thank our DTV crew for streaming and recording tonight's ceremony. And once again, I want to thank Mrs. Ostrander, Ms. Brooks, Mrs. Lawrence, Mrs. Trombley. Thank you for all the help and work that you do behind the scenes. And last but not least, I want to thank the amazing team of DAE educators. You guys are amazing. My appreciation for your hard work and dedication to our students is endless. I'm honored to work amongst you. Please, would you all join me in thanking the incredible DAE staff. <laughs> Mrs. Cole, will you please come to the podium to announce our graduates? Isabella Rose LaCrosse. <laughs> Abigail Marie Beltcamp. <laughs> Brooklyn Ann Amick. Caden J. Bailey. James Lee Bogart the fourth. Devin Aguilar Hall. Connor Dinan. Wyatt Michael Hall. Caden Allen Carraway. Matthew Landon Fuller. Gage. Gabriel Michael Saunders. Jordan Patrick Williams. Yes, 
Madison Danielle Collins. Jordan Everett Peters. Jacob Edward Holland. Owen Neil Denton. Ty Matthew Belmonte. Damian Roy Leach Crawford. Logan Charles Brian Blackburn. Tyler Vincent Fields. London Kennedy Victoria Kreiderman. Daquan James Elam. Brendan Douglas Stiff. Cole Xavier Hayward Dubray. Keegan Wayne Henley. Sandrika K. Johnson. Kennedy Lee Kiefer. Kensington Taylor Benson. Joslyn Trigger. Kelsey Renee Holland. Malik Ovan Q. Lane. Ivy Heather Woods. Nathan David Corral. <laughs> Seth Gordon. <laughs> Matthew Thomas. Brianna Marie Wheaton. Amarion Keanu Edwards. Caden Anthony Diaz. Nicole Kennedy Kalis. Kaylee Ann Brill.
Kayla Sky Jeffries. Eva Marie Lachana. Samantha Star Cottrell. Graduates, one more time, would you please stand and face the audience? Please take your tassels. On the count of three, we'll go from right to left. One, two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to present to you the Davison Alternative Education Class of 2023.